Doug Wiley with Blue Help. I'm here with R Rod Raffetti. Um, Rod, recently we had the opportunity to be in a room with uh, a group of very brave, um, very powerful uh, widows uh, whose spouses died by suicide. Yeah. Law enforcement officers who tragically took their own lives. Very difficult presentation to sit through at times because of how emotional that subject is. But there were some really important takeaways that I think that we can bring back to our agencies and to our organizations. What were some of your impressions of that seminar? Um, it was very impactful. I think probably one of the most important takeaway is we need to be more open and transparent mm -hmm. and less concerned about people's personal lives uh, in the workspace. There still are partners, our employees, and our friends when they leave the station. Mm -hmm. We need to be concerned of what's going on at home and, and at work. One of the uh, survivors mentioned that the husband was one way at work and would come home a, a completely different way. And maybe if some of that communication was going on with the partners, it could have been more holistic. And I, I know that in a lot of times in the administrative side, departments are afraid of that. Mm -hmm. They're afraid of getting involved in people's personal lives. I take it it's actually their duty to ensure that their personal lives are just as solid as their professional life. Mm -hmm. We don't work in a an easy job. Mm -hmm. We do and see things that normal people just shouldn't see and do, but yet we expect them, uh, we expect our officers to just walk away with it normal. Shrug it off like it was nothing. Shrug it off. And there is this stigma uh, still, even in the you know the, these days, we know about PTSD, PTSI, and, and you know accumulated stress and all of those things. There's still a stigma of trying to find, seek, and get help, uh, whether that's a professional doctor or it's a priest or a pastor. There's this line a lot of officers still seem to not be able to cross. How can we change the culture of allowing yourself to get help? It's just that we need to change the culture and we need to do it top down. Mm -hmm. The generations coming in now are very open to communication and constant communication and talking about how they feel and, and what makes them feel different ways. Sadly, my, my generation is not. Mm -hmm. and, and I think if a lot of leaders were to sit in that room yesterday, right, it would change. How do we communicate some of the things that Karen Solomon and the rest of the folks at Blue Help are doing, communicate that message of making change in the organization to the people who can actually affect change, the chiefs, the administrators, the, even down to the line officer, but how do, how do we get that word to them? Um, so we just had, in, out in California, I had Cal Chiefs, the assembly of all the police chiefs for a conference. Getting Karen's group, Blue Help, into organizations like that mm -hmm. on a regular basis along with the survivors so those people making the decisions have to sit there face to face and listen to the story on the other side of the door mm -hmm. i understand a lot of administrators like to look at officers as numbers and as pins on a map mm -hmm. they have to remember those are families those are people and we can't just move them around and take them off it takes more, it, it affects more than just that. Right. And those are the people, the chiefs, the stars and bars, as I like to call them, the chiefs and captains and lieutenants, that can really start this cultural change mm -hmm. and get the, get the ball rolling to maybe more mandatory annual check-ins with uh, department psychs and and having having on board someone who's walking around the station, jumping in the car and doing ride-alongs. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to call it mobile therapy, <laughs> you know, but regular check and making yeah. it the norm. Right. And not just after a shooting or after a bad incident, then you have to go see the shrink. Yeah. Make it a normal day-to-day -day operation. Rod, thank you very much for your time and for your thoughts today. All right. Thank you.